Though this is an older problem, it's quite interesting because it tells us one of the thought processes behind uh, detecting cracks in an airplane wing, which, as we might guess, is an incredibly important task um, so that we don't, of course, uh, have any uh, planes that crash as a result. So they tell us that the probability of uh, catching a crack in an airplane depends on three things. Number one, we've got to inspect the we've got to actually make sure that that plane gets inspected. Then we we got, we got to make sure that you know when they're inspecting it that they actually catch the part of the wing that's broken. And number three, do they actually cat detect the damage because it could be damage that isn't outwardly noticeable. So what assumptions can we use for multiplying these probabilities? Well, number one, that we have we all three of these things have to happen. So we want event one, event two, and event three all have to happen in order for the crack to be detected. And so either we assume independence of these three events, or we say that there's a 90% chance in this, in part B, that the plane is inspected. Given that it's inspected, there's an 80% chance that 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 particular part of the wing is inspected. And given that, um, then there's a 50% chance that the actual damage is detected in that part. Okay, so that means that we can multiply these together. That means that the probability of successfully catching a plane with a damaged wing would be 0.9 times 0.8 times 0.5, which would come out to a probability of 0.36 when we multiply these together. Now we want to know um, the probability that a wing crack will be detected on at least one of these uh, three fleets that we're mentioning here. So there are three planes. Now, if we assume independence, if we assume that uh, the probability is always the same, if we assume that, well, there are three trials, then we would say that this is a binomial experiment um, with n equals three trials and probability of success equal to 0.36. So these are, um, this would be a binomial event. And we want to know the probability that a wing crack will be detected on at least one of them. I'm actually going to jump back here. I'm going to do uh, part C real quick. And so in this case, we're counting the number of planes that actually get um, where damage is caught. So if three planes are inspected from this fleet, what is the probability that a wing crack will be detected on at least one of them? So that means uh, that it's possible that no, none of the cracks are caught. One of the cracks is caught. Two of them, or all three of the planes, um, cracks are caught. So we want to know the probability of each one of these. Well, uh, this is three trials, zero successes. Probability of success is 0.36, zero of those. Then the other 64% of the time, we would, we would uh, expect basically three failures in this situation. This would be 3, 1, 0.36 to the first. 0.64 squared, um, and so on down the line. 3, choose 2, 0.36 squared, 0.64 to the first. Now when we calculate all these, and we do the same thing here, here's what we would come up with. 26% chance that none of them get caught, 44% chance that exactly one gets caught, and so on. Now we want to know the probability that at least one gets caught. So what is the probability that the number caught is at least one? Well, this is a problem from a previous chapter where um, we just take, so we want to know basically all of these guys here, the, these probabilities. So why not, and since this is 100% of all the outcomes, why not just take away that we, the one that we don't want? So 1 minus 0.26 would tell us that 74% of the time we would expect to catch at least one of the planes, which is pretty good, three quarters of the time roughly. Um, here's our probability distribution. It shows us that we're, we're most likely to either catch 0, 1, or 2. Not very likely that we catch all three planes, the cracks in all three planes. And hopefully that's not a uh, too dangerous of a thing. Um, and hopefully in real life this would be a lot, um, a lo a lot higher that this 50% that if the wing is detected that damage is caught all the time. So we have our probability histogram right here. The expected value of this distribution, and what is its real world meaning? Well, that's uh, we could go back the old fashioned way value times probability plus value times probability, etc. But if we have three planes and we would expect that 36% um, are caught, 3 times 0.36 would be 1.08. So that means we would expect, on average, that about one plane is 